Okay, good. Now I can do this video in peace. The husband just got home. He went out snowboarding today, and I've had the little monsters um, all day. So I told my oldest one, hey, when daddy gets home, let him know that I'm doing a video and leave me alone. So um, I can't believe New Year's Eve and just this year's just been flying. Um, a ton of things happen, good and bad, just like everyone. Um, so hope that you all have a great 2017, get lots of stitching done, um, and kind of meet your goals for the year. So I wanted to show you one thing I meant to show you guys on the last video. Um, so my mom cross-stitched my um, stocking. I'm not sure when she did this. I don't know if it was after I was bo born or while I w was in her. So this was the stocking that she made. She went, made one for my brother as well. And I've never asked her about this, if it was a kit um, or what. So it's, I yeah, I just love it. And um, hang it up every year. Finished on the back with red, just real simple. She did some interfacing as well, um, some cry neck. But yeah, so there's my stocking that I hang up. So for all those parents that do stockings, 31 years later, I still have mine and appreciate mine. Um, let's see, what else? I think I'm going to start with the Jesse Marie tag for kind of the year wrap up because the questions kind of go along with what I want to show. So it'll just be easier to do it that way. Um, not all these questions apply to me. So we'll just go through them. Um, favorite whip. Probably Nightmare. It's dark and hardcore and edgy and um, not, you know, a, a typical cross-stitch. It's not, you know, Country Cottage Needleworks or Plum Street Sampler. Um, it's detail heavy, it's complicated, it's frustrating, yet um, rewarding all at the same time. So definitely Nightmare is my top favorite um, whip for this year. Um, finish. Um, I'm gonna say... Probably my Marquise piece by Jardin Privé. Um, loved the colors, loved how simple it was, yet um, very detailed. Um, simple stitch, yet it looks complicated as hell. Um, So, yeah, this is definitely my favorite pin finish for the year and can't wait um, to get it hung up. Um, FFO, it's going to be my Halloween delivery. Um, that turned out way better than what I thought it would after I framed it and got it all done. The frame was white. I painted it a couple coats of black. Um, I love the fabric I decided to stitch it on. Gives it kind of an old parchment look. Um, I love the jewel tones. I'm getting reflection from outside, but you get the idea. The jewel tones. Um, and 
this will be hung up to as well year, year round. So this is probably yeah going to be my favorite FFO. Um, new start. Um, my Nora Corbett, my first one that I've ever started. Um, love the colors, the simplicity of it. Um, it's a series as well. Um, I know I've enabled a lot of people on that. Sorry. Um, but I think it being my first Nora Corbett, I'm excited to see what kind of the fuss is about her. Um, obviously she's well loved. People do her charts and show progress on them all the time. Um, so I definitely wanted to pick something of hers that would be simple to start off with. And I think this is, um, is a great kind of starting off. So I definitely suggest that for people that maybe want to do a piece of Nora's, um, but maybe don't want to jump into anything too complicated. The, these, the birds are very straightforward. Um, no partial stitches. It uh, calls for a couple beads if you want to do them, great. If not, you know, you don't have to. Favorite tool? Um, I'm gonna go needle minders. You know, when I started cross-stitching years ago, it just was in your mouth or you tucked it in the fabric on your piece or in the arm of your chair. So I love that these little things can bring a little more uniqueness to your piece and kind of personalize it a little more. Um, Q-snaps, love those. Um, basically just for the ease of tightening up the, um, the tightness of the fabric. It's so much better than the wooden hoops that I used when I was Younger, favorite technique, probably my framing. Um, I think I have my kind of framing style down pretty well. It works for me. I know it's unorthodox. Um, love it or hate it, doesn't really matter to me. Um, I'm glad the people that have watched my framing tutorial, um, it works for them, great. And it's, you know, a better alternative than spending, you know, 50 to 100, couple hundred dollars for framing. Um, I personally don't need that. I'd rather spend it on stash or other things. Um, so if I can just get a good, decent frame and do it myself, that totally works for me. Um, material, I guess it's favorite, least favorite. Material, probably linen. I love the look um, that the slubs can give to the piece. Um, just kind of ages it more, gives it more of a raw, natural look. Mm, pattern releases of 2016. All of them are new to me. So um, I've loved coming across all these new designers. Courtney Collection is definitely, you know, my style. Uh, but then it's like Plum Street Samplers have some great Halloween ones and unique ones as well. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Ink Circles has been a huge favorite of mine. Um, so it's, it's just great going from what I grew up on were the Dimensions kits and that was it. And then, you know, getting back into cross stitch earlier this year and learning about you know, one, two, three stitch and all these online websites or um, Etsy has been, you know, huge with, with the charts. Um, whips at the start of the year, zero. Whips at the end of the year, I have five and I'll go through those. Finishes during the year, I had 14 finishes. Um, now when I say I got into it earlier in the year. I want to say that I started cross stitching in June is when, I don't know if I was at Hobby Lobby and I came across a chart 
and it kind of sparked it in me again. And then that's when I got in and did my girlfriend's sampler, birth sampler. Um, so from June to last week when I finished Moonlight, 14. Not bad. Not bad. Um, fully finished, I have 12. That's because two of them, which belong in the Barbara Anna series, um, I do not have framed because I'll be getting all five of the same frames. <sighs> Permanent, UFOs. Mm, I guess you could consider the Heaven and Earth design, Mom and Baby, a permanent one. Um, I just got way over my head on thinking that I could do this. And um, so I ripped out the stitches through the fabric back in my stash um, and have this in my pile to throw up on stash and load after the beginning of the year. Temporary UFO, um, Clouds Factory postcards. I think I just burnt myself out, you know, coming across that in June and I went gangbusters to try to catch up and I was for a few months and then lost steam. Full coverage, pages completed, none. Um, I don't see myself getting another heaven and earth design. They're just not for me. Um, first start. Um, birth announcement. But then I had my bird one. Let me show you. So... I think my first was this bird on the branch. Um, I know that this kit was at Hobby Lobby and it had a word down here if it was believe or belief. Um, but I just did, I didn't add that in and I only did it in half stitches. Framed it, obviously I cut off some of it. Um, but I loved this frame with it. So I want to say that this was my first start. Um, finish. No. Take that back. Take it all back. My first was the birth announcement by Design Works. It was Baby Buggy. I'm going to insert a picture here. If I can figure that out, I gave it to my girlfriend for her first child. Um, holy God, it was huge piece at the end. Um, I framed it last minute and I had to carry it on the plane. Um, I love though how big it turned out. The frame I found was absolutely perfect. She loved it. It's in the baby's room now. Um, those wheel spokes you'll see in the, in the picture were a pain in the butt. Um, I did a couple, there were a couple mix-ups, um, but it turned out beautiful. I loved it. Um, so that was my first start. My first finish was this bird one. Because um, I just needed a break from that buggy piece and go to this and finish that off. Purchases that I regret the heaven and earth one got over my head, thought I could do it. No, um, starting regrets. Now looking back, probably postcards. I don't think I'm a stitch along kind of person because my OCD, I wanna stay up to date with when it's being let out. Um, so I will finish postcards this coming up year um, because it's on my year of whip challenge. I just need to just pull it out and just do it because I think I have like two months left um, on that. Regret stopping. I didn't stop, but I wish that I put more effort into and didn't start more things. Probably Nightmare. I wish I was a little further along on Nightmare. And that's because Abby is done with hers and I want to be done with mine. Um, but I kind of have 
a due date on that. I'm, I'm going to enter that in the state fair this coming up year. So I know I do have a deadline for it. Um, but I think because it's one color and I've come to love these pieces with different colors, I just find it hard stitching on that just one color. Um, new tools to me. Q-snaps, needle minders, um, fabric designers, they're all new to me. Um, thread, probably Weeks Dye, love the variegation. Um, I'm using a lot of Weeks for my Remember Me piece. Vendor Shop 123 is, is just scary and deadly. Um, terminology, all of it, floss two channels, all of it. Um, it was kind of a dumb mistake that I came across it. I know one evening I just typed in cross stitching because I knew there were other channels out there for whatever it be, if it's video gaming or a sport, I knew that channels like that existed. Um, so typed in cross stitch and soft floss tube. And I was like, oh my God, this is going to be amazing. What did you learn this year? Hmm. Just blown away by the variety of charts that you can get, whether it be something off of Clouds Factory, the little people, if it's, you know, bands like, um, Metallica or um, movies, Jaws, you know, they have such a wide variety. You can stitch something for anyone that you know. You can pick out what they like, do your thing, which is cross stitch, and give them such a unique gift. Um, this community is just so open and obviously giving as we've seen from numerous people, and we all just share this common interest of stitching, and it doesn't hurt anybody, um, and it's so relaxing, and we just all get it. Um, all the new tools that can make cross-stitching easier, whether it be the needle size, or the Q-snaps, or the big frames, um, and then all the fun things, the grime guards or the bags to store your pieces in or the needle minders. What did you teach someone this year? I taught my husband, don't buy a boat or I'll buy a shitload of stash. Um, oh, and get earrings on top of it. So. Yeah, I would say don't cross me. I mean, he already knows that anyway, but um, you may feel the wrath of one, two, three. Did you come become real life friends with any stitchers you only knew via social media? Not yet. Um, my soulful stitching buddy, Julie Flyder Inst. Julie, did I say that right? She has been amazing. So here we get postcard pals and people, you know, get teamed up from, you know, living in Canada and they get someone in, you know, Australia or here in the United States and, you know, England. I get Julie. Julie gets me. We live in the same state. We are probably literally 20 minutes away. We need to get together and um and see each other in in life but i think we're gonna maybe wait till after the first year you know it's just crazy since you know thanksgiving starts until you know the end of december you know you're going to parties you're wrapping up school you're doing things with family um are you happy with what you accomplished this year hell yeah started late in the game, um, 
and just learn so much about the new cross-stitching world. Um, and I've fallen in love with it, every single aspect of it. Uh, what are your goals for, what were your goals for 2016? Obviously none. Um, I wouldn't have thought that I would have gotten so obsessed with stitching again. Um, and how do you measure up to what you accomplished? Um, yeah, I think I just did good with, you know, my FFOs and the stash that I've accumulated in such a short period of time. I'm losing light. I'm going to put my overhead light on. You guys get to see my backside. Okay. Let's see this. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm breaking in my new shoes. So let me show you. Husband and I are going out tomorrow night. Um, so I'm walking around with trying to break in my, my new shoes. So they're comfortable as hell. They're not as high as heels that I usually wear. These are maybe three inches. Um, so yeah, breaking those in. Um, okay. Has your stitching style or organization changed during the year? Nope. Always been crazy organized, still a floss licker. I, you know, tie a knot at the end of my thread. Um, I don't do a loop start. Um, yeah, still anal about my organizing, so that hasn't changed. Um, favorite stitch along or stitch alongs you uh, participated in? Probably Olympic stitch along. That one had such a variety of paths you could go down. Um, you know, something blue. Pick something. Um, so I like that there was such a variety to choose from. What did I learn about? myself through your stitching this year. Um, I like a variety of styles. Um, you know, the morbid and kind of the darker with Courtney collection, but then you might like something sweet and cute and go to Country Cottage Needleworks. Um, so the variety is definitely there. Um, Also, through stitching, I learned that it was something I definitely needed to get back to. Um, after leaving the fire department, I, you know, went into a hard depression after leaving. I saw myself being with the department for a long time, and... It was very all of us it was very sudden that I had to leave and was pushed out and I know it was a personal vendetta and I try not to take things personal but what I was more upset with was that I couldn't do something that I loved and I really felt that I had found my calling with the fire department um yes you got to be way effed up in your head to like the things that um, I did and see the things that I did and hear the things that I did and um, saying the things that I did. I was thinking about the other day and would have never... Imagine that I thought someone was out the door. I would have fallen in love with something like that. So, um, yeah, stitching definitely helped me past this year. Mm. Favorite event that I participated in was probably Soulful Stitchers, where your partner was able to pick your. Um, pieces for you to stitch on. I loved that. Um, looking forward to finishing. 
my Nightmare piece, my Barbara Anna series. I have three left to go on that. Do you tend to be more determined or laid back? Definitely more determined. I want to get 14 completions, if not more. Um, and determined also in the sense of trying new things, um, be it with fabric or um, specialty stitches. Mm, stitchy resolutions for next year. The year of whips challenge, even though I only have five at the moment, um, I have other ones that are kitted up and that I want to do and start, um, but probably just the year of whips challenge, which will help me get to my um, final number that I want to get to next year for finishes. Be participating in any sales? No, I don't think they're for me. Um, again, just the feeling of having to stay up to date with them um, just just gets to me. I know a lot of people are asking me if I was going to do the Clouds Factory, um, the Women in History, because Frida is going to be represented. Um, I mean, I'm excited to see um, what they have her done in. I mean, it's are the pieces going to be in squares? Or are they going to be kind of like portraits and oval? I'm kind of interested to see the whole setup and then how they, you know, mix Frida into it. Um, are there any materials, stitches, techniques you'd like to try in the new year? More hand-dyed fabrics, for sure. Um, some that other stitchers show are just absolutely gorgeous. Um, want to do specialty stitches so I have a piece that I just bought that includes specialty stitches so I look forward to starting that as well. What was your best thing that happened to you this year? These are non-related stitchy questions. Um, traveled by myself which was always nice to get away from husband and kids. Traveled with just the husband um, and then we also just traveled as a family Husband started up his own business, which is exciting. Um, mine just exploded, thanks to all of your guys' help. And um, love getting orders and recognizing names and knowing that um, they're on Floss Tube or from Stitch Mania or Instagram. So I thank you guys for that. Um, best thing that I refound my love for cross stitch and that it's so strong and that I found other people who appreciate it and can love my obsession just as much finding floss tube in the community um I mean we talk about cross stitch for god's sakes people and there are other people out there that want to watch us um I think I, the last time I checked, I have like 1,300 subscribers. You're telling me that there are 1,300 people in the world that want to watch my damn videos on cross-stitching of all things? Just, it's just crazy. It's just insane. Um, online friends via, you know, Stitch Mania or Cross-Stitch and Discuss, Soulful Stitchers. Um, and then also finding them on uh, floss tube as well. But I think the best thing that happened to me this year, not stitching related, hands down, finding Pepe. And I think you guys can all agree that finding Pepe was like the holy grail of all things this year. Too bad I didn't find him sooner in the year because we could have been having more fun than just Halloween time. Um, but yeah, I think I think Pepe totally takes it. And then the last question, what are your resolutions for next year? Um, get back into volunteering. 
Um, definitely want to see if I can get into another fire department and kind of do the same thing as I was doing for the city of Phoenix. Maybe we can find Pepe some, some love. You know, Valentine's Day is going to be coming up in February. You know, he needs a partner as much as I want him to live with me forever. You know, you got to go just like your kids. Um, I mean, maybe my kids will move out this year. Fingers crossed. So, you know, Pepe kind of has to do the same thing. But if he finds someone, she ha I have to okay her. So, um, what else? What are my other resolutions? Calling people out on their crap and their ignorance and their meanness and their bitchiness. And if you're in the wrong and you're in the wrong a lot, someone needs to call your ass out. Um, I've never been afraid to do it. Now, I'll do it in a nice way. I'm not walking around like looking to tear somebody a new one. Um, but if you're just being mean to a group of people or an individual, someone's got to put you in your place. I'm sorry. Um, and you can do it in a nice way. You don't have to be mean about it. Um, so yeah, that was some of the questions that I did. I'll show you guys my finished pieces. Yes, I'm yawning. So, um, these old bones. Oh, look, there's me and me. Um, who was this? This was these old bones. I forget. Lone Elm Lane. Did it on black. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen again. But I loved how it turned out. Um, Frida, of course. Who can't forget Frida? Cloud's Factory. Um, my Design Works piece, The Bird on the Branch. And I know this is a series of a couple of them. Um, and I do have the Owl one. Mm. Halloween delivery. Oh. And then I gotta love my Ink Circles Bad Neighborhood series. So here's upstairs, downstairs. Love the quirkiness, love the colors. And I uh, changed this out because I gotta make it look like Irwin, gray and white. Um. Don't remember the name on this one. Put this one into my state fair. Won a blue ribbon. Won this blue ribbon as well. Troubled water. Yeah, the dead fish. Come on, what's not to love? So I have two more left in the series, but I believe there's also a sixth part. I've never been able to find it. Um, but maybe there's just five. So let's see what else. My Moonlight by Philogram piece. This was my last finish of 2016. Love the colors. Just it was a winner. The Hill from Hell. And um, yeah. And then last but not least, my lovely Marquise piece, which you guys are yelling at me because I enabled you. But again, I'm not responsible for divorce, debt, um, you guys buying stuff, okay? That's your problem. You just have bad self-control. Okay? So yeah. Um, oh, and then my Barbara Anna pieces, which are 
deep in the woods. The fox and the squirrel is still working hard for a buck. And then we have plentiful meadows. The house with eyes, the big ass fruit, Wally, the huge butterfly that wants to eat him, and the uh, chickens that sold themselves their souls to the devil. No, the rabbits that sold themselves the, to the devil with their red eyes. Um, so there's three left in that. Join my stitch long on that. We'll get that going again after the first of the year. Um, Pieces that I'm, I'm excited to start. Um, come on, turkey and pumpkin pie. The woman is running after the damn turkey and pumpkin pie with an ax. And God knows I'm gonna add some droplets of blood on the ax. So yeah. Um, The Barbara Anna ones I have here. <sighs> These just gave me a freaking headache. I might just do this as one huge piece um, when the when the mood tickles my fancy. So let's see what else do I got. I have yet put this in my computer because I think that would be deadly as hell. Um. There's just no words for this gorgeousness. Yeah. Let's see, what else? Here is the piece um, with the specialty stitches, three shades of green. Um, my lion piece. If you have questions about any of these, I can um, give you the information. I have a Mirabilia. <sighs> yeah, I'd like to start this. I probably will start this one after I get the Nora Corbett piece done. Um, but the, so this is one of five and there's a hummingbird and my grandparents um, who live in Washington state, my grandma loves hummingbirds and they have a ton of feeders out on their back deck and they get a ton of them during the summer. So, um, I've already been on one, two, three stitched or to that sucker. Um, so I'll want to get that stitched and sent up for their anniversary. Other pieces that I want to start just because they're just sheer gorgeousness. Get cracking. Um, what's this? Masquerade ink circles. Good Halloween piece. Love that frame. It has like bones and stuff on it. Um, Barbara Anna. It's got creepy babies. Um, my Frida piece that I just got. I need fabric for this. Quaker Mermaid. It is suggesting a 28 count hand dyed fabric by Stephanie Gina Opalescent Lugana. Um, that would be my first opalescent um, and be my first hand dyed. So maybe that's what I'll do. And then I can start on that. Um, get Nightmare done. I can bust out my, my beasties from, from Courtney collection. So, I got a ton of stuff, obviously, to hold me over. Um, but with a new year comes new patterns that you'll find on 123 and more patterns I'll find to enable all of you lovely people. Show you my whips. Um, so I started my Nora Corbett piece. This is Blue Monarch Flycatcher. I started this on, I always write it down on the piece of paper somewhere. I don't see it on here, maybe I threw it on here. Nope. 
I want to say I started this three days ago. Oh, excuse me. Let's just look at this gorgeousness. Look at that. I absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, let me see if I can get, if I should get more. Whoa. Does that work? I feel like I need more light, but maybe I don't. Love the colors. I love how the blues are blending. I love how the flowers are coming together. This is the nest here, um, then with her eggs. And love it. Worked on this. Um, again, nightmare. I'm going across. Happy that the eye has formed. The ridges along the back of the helmet. Um, but loving it so fa far. You know, I had that mistake early on, and thanks to Abby and Emily's help and a few other people's suggestions, I was able to fudge it, and now I'm back on track. Um, looking in my cart. Let's see here. My. Oh. Remember Me piece. This is the one that Pepe wanted me to start. Birds of a Feather. Where is my... You don't must have taken it off. Here's where I'm at on this. Using the weeks in her, in all the black. Love the cat. Come on, all the cat hair. Um, now I'm down on the houses. And then I got the mother of all skeletons to stitch, which that's going to be a hell of a lot of black. Um, then. Oh, I started another piece I have to show you guys. So this is my ink circles piece that I got in my last one, two, three order. It's the birds and bees. Love the, the knots, kind of has like a Celtic um, look to it. Love the birds here in the middle. These designs here kind of look like really ornate um, like chandeliers, but a good piece like this, I mean, again, any fabric, any thread you want to do. So I've decided to do it on, um, what fabric am I doing on? 40 count Dublin, and I'm using DMC number 69, and I am in the how it's coming out. It's reds and burgundies, kind of like a salmon color, and then it goes to a cream. Now, being it variegated, am I doing one X at a time? God no, girl ain't got time for that. So, I've decided it doesn't look muddy, it doesn't look anything, it looks great because the, I work in long strands because I got long orangutan arms. The colors on the DMC are very long, the color variegated. So, you know, maybe on like a week's, it's maybe only an inch of color change. But the DMC ones are super, super long. I want to say this amount is all one color. Then it will switch to something a little lighter. So I feel 
because the colors are longer in the thread, you can just do, you know, five slash marks and then come back. You don't have to do one X at a time. I tried that in the beginning. It was driving me up the wall and I thought there was no way in hell I'm gonna do 10,647 stitches all at once. Um, I'm loving it. I don't think that it looks bad or jumbled or muddy or anything. I think it looks natural. Um, that's Penelope. Um, so I love it. So that was a new start from the other day as well. New year, new start. Sure, why not add another one into it? So I have ready to go. <laughs> Country Cottage Needleworks. Afternoon in Rome. Why? Because I'm Italian. That's why. So I have the threads all here in my Frida bag. Some of these are still available in my store. I got my fabric ready. I got a needle mind or my needle minder ready. And I'm doing this on 32 count star sapphire. Um, so I think that will be my new year, new start on the first when my husband's on the couch trying to recuperate from tomorrow night. Um, I don't drink. Grew up in a alcoholic home. Um, I will go out with people who drink, but if it gets to the point where I have to babysit your ass, that just upsets me. Um, my husband only drinks socially, um, but it's kind of funny to see when he's totally not plastered because he's not going to black out, but when he has a little bit of a buzz, it's it's humorous because I've never seen him like that. Um, so I just get just get a kick out of it and it's a little show for me. Um, but yeah, I have a feeling he'll be recuperating on the couch. My parents will have the kids. It'll be a long night and um, I'll be able to get a new stitch going on that. Now, I was originally wanting to, so I'm wearing these for tomorrow night. I originally, now get ready, some of you gals might be a little jealous. I wanted to wear these. So there, <laughs> they go up past my knee. They're all sequins. Oh my God. It's rose gold sequins. I was gonna wear these. The husband said, he just, he didn't say anything. He just kind of gave me a look. Um, but I didn't know if I wanted to wear a sequin. I wanted to wear something sequin. So I could have worn my black jumper from my birthday. Go back a few videos if you need refreshment on that thing. Um, but instead I got this dress. And then I'll show you guys on, if you follow me on Instagram, I'll post pictures and all of that fun stuff. So I'm going a different route. Red lace. And it'll, it'll, see, now the light went. And who knows if you'll be able to see. But it's fire engine red. Dress, tight and sexy, with black shoes. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. Um... So yeah, I think that is it that I have to show for you guys. Um, best wishes to everybody in 2017. Can't wait to see what we all start, what we finish, what we throw against the wall, what gets ruined by our kids or our pets, what new tools come out, what new charts, um, so yeah, it's 2017. Let's, let's try to make it better than 2016, but every year sucks. I mean, come on, honestly, 
we just then hope for the next year to be less sucky. Um, so yeah, you guys have a safe New Year's. If you guys go out, don't do anything stupid. Don't drink and drive, Uber, get a DD, whatever. So I will see you guys next year. Bye.